Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday morning, March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and uh, it's nice to have a nice simple forecast. This will be one of the most boring weather extreme videos that you've seen in a while, and we will take it. After at least 15 tornadoes tore through Alabama on Thursday, um, we'll take all the calm weather we can get. And uh, the good news is uh, we shouldn't see any severe weather uh, within the next eight to nine days. Uh, maybe a little bit out toward the end of the month. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Here readings uh, just after 6 a.m. this morning, showing uh, a few uh, readings below freezing in uh, northwestern parts of the area. Uh, that's 28 at Haleyville, 30 at Jasper, 31 at Coleman, 30 at Fort Payne. Most everyone else uh, in the middle or upper 30s got a few uh, lower 40s uh, smattered in across South Alabama. Uh, but uh, a cool start to this St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let's go through the models. Model fans today, noon uh, from the GFS, showing a high pressure dominating almost all of the United States here in Alabama. Uh, will be uh, mostly sunny today, partly cloudy at times, uh, but highs topping out in the uh, lower to uh, middle 60s in most areas. Uh, we'll call for 59 up at Coleman, you know, uh, 57 at Fort Payne, 63 in Birmingham, 65 over in Tuscaloosa, kind of the general range of temperatures. Now, going through the day by day, the uh, lineup looks like this for Monday at noon. The GFS showing uh, activity over the Gulf of Mexico, Western Atlantic, but uh, most of the United States, in fact, uh, almost all of the United States, high and dry, maybe a few showers there in the mid-Atlantic, uh, the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, but the rest of the country uh, mainly dry. Activity begins to pick up a little bit on Tuesday as the trough moves out of the Rockies, or a little short wave uh, moves out of the Rockies and intensifies uh, shower activity increasing along that front in Florida, but here in Alabama will continue to be high and dry. Now, for Monday, we uh, have another disturbance passing through, uh, you'll see some gusty winds tomorrow. Look for highs uh, to back back out of the 50s. We'll see 60 on Tuesday. Overnight lows are going to continue to be in the 30s. This is Wednesday at noon, uh, showing uh, that stronger disturbance beginning to get its act together. But uh, it's going to be fairly moisture starved by the time it gets to us here in Alabama. It's going to have to pack in its own uh, moisture with it, uh, doing that at the mid levels. And you see those showers from eastern Oklahoma back into the Ohio Valley. Now by Thursday at noon, that disturbance is uh, passing us here in Alabama. Tiny chance we could see a shower uh, two on Thursday morning, but uh, that chance is fairly small, and I think we mainly will remain dry as that system weakens as it passes us. Friday at noon, high pressure builds in. Should be a beautiful day. I think we'll be back uh, into the upper 60s by Friday, uh, which is not bad. Uh, we'll take that. By Saturday, uh, maybe even 70 degrees. Beautiful day Saturday uh, as we get ready to start uh, AEA, um, as I used to call it, spring break for some uh, on uh, next week. Some, of course, uh, have uh, enjoyed spring break this week. Some will enjoy it this coming week. Now, Sunday, a week from now, noon, high pressure slides enough to the east to see that return flow of moisture coming off the Gulf of Mexico up through Texas, uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Uh, a few of those showers are going to try to stray into Alabama uh, over the weekend, but they'll have a hard time doing it. And I think we remain dry until late on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, that'd be the 25th or the 26th. This is a low pressure over Michigan, a trailing cold front pushing showers and thunderstorms into Alabama. And um, at first I didn't think uh, we'd have to contend with any severe weather. But the uh, overnight run of the GFS, uh, much more bullish on the idea of instability. You see those uh, instability values over 1,000 joules, and we know that's enough for severe weather in Alabama. Throw in uh, plenty of bulk shear, and here's helicity, the low-level spin in the atmosphere, uh, showing a decent amount of that. And uh, so I think we will have to deal with the threat, potentially, of severe weather. Uh, there, uh, especially if the timing of the system is like the model projects it may be, uh, coming in the late afternoon and evening hours, we know that's uh, when uh, severe weather can be at its worst. Although it can happen at any time in Alabama, that's when it traditionally, uh, especially in the spring, can be at its worst. Temperature forecast generally, uh, the GFS, the European uh, kind of in agreement here, 
uh, not picking up on those 70s toward the end of the week, that warming, uh, strengthening uh, late winter sun, uh, especially by Thursday, it'll be a spring sun uh, as we have the equinox on Wednesday afternoon. But uh, ominously, the uh, GFS predicting 76 on Monday the 25th, and that means we will definitely have the warmth uh, moving back in here uh, for that next system. That's your weather video for this Sunday, March 17th. Hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day and a great week. Next week, James will be back with two a days all week. Uh, Scott will be back next Saturday, and I'll get to sit in this seat next Sunday. And until then, as I always remind you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.